Hello! Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is a packing video. So I'm making a rack for Tony who is at Craft Bruge. I made this cat headband and I'm going to show you all. It's not like a bra, it's a cat headband that I crocheted. Is that a is that a verb like crocheted? I don't know. Um, so uh, I made this kind of um, I don't know how you call it. You know this kind of paper you have when you, sometimes you buy you buy toys or whatever. I don't know. But I kind of well I made one with the digitals from Hey Pumpkin from Quick Paper and uh, so it's written cat headband. And I have um, written there, no cats were armed in the making of this spooky headband. And it's 100% acrylic. Acrylic? Acrylic. Um, and I made this little cluster, but it's just that uh, I've made it on Photoshop. Or Procreate, I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> it's just digital. I haven't done anything there uh, special. Anywho, here. So this is a cat headband, and I I thought she likes howling so much, and um, I do too. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I thought she would probably like it. I have in here, I've wrapped it in this um, silver-ish paper. I have some goodies. So I have... I bought those phosphorescent, phosphorescence, phosphorescent, I don't know, <laughs> uh, stickers, so let's just call them glow in the dark stickers, <laughs> yep, it's gonna be easier to say, um, I wanted other types of stickers, but I think she's got a lot of, of stickers, and um, these, I think this is a French brand, oh yay, so you know what? I'm so happy because this brand is not far, it's like not far from where I live. And also, it belongs to a, um, a brand that is close to my heart. It's Clairefontaine. Because I grew up not far from there. And this is from Tiger. So I, I know that those brands aren't in the US, so... That's why I I got a these, but I think she's already received some glow in the dark stickers, but never mind. She's gonna have some European <laughs> slash friends French stickers that we all know it's going from China, but <laughs> and I'm gifting her two of those uh, spider bags. And also I made those crochet hearts in um, in the Halloween colors. So uh, we have like a bright pink. Uh, sorry, green and two orange ones, and I'm putting them here so it doesn't like get um, lost. I uh, have these um, chocolate uh, Halloween, Halloween chocolates from Tiger again, uh, so they're quite simple. I'm pretty. I haven't tasted them yet. I have a few more. Um, but I'm sure they're plain. It's just, I mean, they're simple, they must be fine, but I really like the, um, uh, the wrapping of the wrapping of it. All right. I have, I made a, bit, a little bag here with, uh, with the AC Digitals again. So it's pretty simple again. I haven't done many because this is chunky. <laughs> it's already very chunky, so I wouldn't put something else on the bag because otherwise this is gonna <laughs> overflow the the box. And I put this little pink cloth pin. So then I made this back topper from some from uh, orange holographic paper that I got from Ax Action. Sorry, and then. Um, so I keep it. I kept it simple. Just some uh, leftover from the rosettes 
that I made um, for the mini rosette wand that I, I've um, done in a previous video. And I put the, um, oh, what's it called? The witch hat. Because uh, I bought the, the die, but it's, uh, I can, the, it's a shaker die, but I cannot, uh, I tried, but it's, ah, <laughs> I'm so bad with shakers. Um, so I just reused uh, the die cut. And then I put, this is from Tiger, this little dog. Just realized that it's a bit hidden. This face is a bit hidden, but it depends on when you stand, <laughs> where you stand. But okay, this little doggy is from Action. Uh, sorry, Tiger, and this is from Hey Pumpkin, and this is a little flower I got at So String Grain. So in here I made a couple um, some, uh, goodies some embellishments that uh, I used Hey Pumpkin and I used Spellcast because I love this collection so much. Um, so I have made these... What, what would I start with? Okay. I would start with this kickstand with some bugs on it. I wanted to do... I had a bit of acetate on hand and I tried putting it there. Sorry about the noise for my phone. And, well, I broke the needle on my sewing machine trying to uh, stitch it. So, I just put some, sorry, I just put some, uh, what, marble paper from the collection behind it. And it's fine. I think it looks fine. Sorry, Tony. Um, Tony, I wanted to do something a bit better, but... I don't know, my sewing machine machine didn't want to, so... Okay, and I've made those little books. So, so they're very simple, because I cannot... I think I need more stuff from the collections, like probably the puffy stickers or the... Um, I don't know, the small... I, I, I've, so, I've seen some books made with this die with the 31 collection from Fingersia and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, um I don't have <laughs> I don't have it, but I just put some foam for the put the titles on foam. Yeah. And I thought they are still cute anyway. Then I've made those back toppers. I have this Van Dye and I thought I could do like a spooky Van thing. <laughs> so this one says Trick or Treat and this one says Fright Night. And I've put these flowers again and um, some bits from the Hey Pumpkin collection. The paper is as well from Hey Pumpkin. And also I've made this um, small Polaroid shaker inspired by my friend Cheryl who sent me too. You can see that in one of my previous videos. I really love how it turned out. It was, I think it's the first time I'm making um, a shaker, a Polaroid shaker and it really turned out great. So I'm including these uh, mini rosette ran that I've ran that I've made in another video. And then Finally, I have those giant bats that I got out of action. I'm going to show you. This is one of them, and I've got two more, two smaller ones. Two smaller size. I have this size, and I have I have one there that I've actually folded folded a bit, but yeah. So we <laughs> I bought them. I think they're supposed to be. Uh, decoration you put on the wall but I thought I could do something with them and here's what I did what I did okay so I've put some um, orange uh, what's uh, glitter paper on on top of it that I've put on foam I don't know if you can see here but 
I've put it on foam uh, tape and then I've added some bits from the Hey Pumpkin collection and those foam stickers that I've got at my grocery store um, I think I've talked to you about them in my previous video, no? I don't remember <laughs> seem to say the same thing all over again and then actually I've never said things so I don't remember if I did or not so all of these are from Hey Pumpkin and there's just a bit of crepe paper, black crepe paper there and some star trim that I've got out of action and okay that's about it I'm hoping she will like everything it's very small because uh, as I said shipping costs ugh. and I have a lot of I have um, some other um, happy mail to send so I'm not gonna be able to send like a big package but I'm glad that I can fit everything in here and I'm and I really really like what I've done so I'm hoping she will as well thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it uh, please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you want to see more happy mail and crafty things uh, so I will now say goodbye thank you very much and have a great day bye